Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today I'm going to use some of these and some of these to make the Irish apple sour. But first, this. All right, so let's get into it. All right, this is an Irish apple sour. And what makes this really Irish is, of course, Irish whiskey. And I'm using a Rowan Co here, really, really good. The other thing, of course, is uh, I don't have any history for you for this one, but I did get this from Reddit again, and this is from Speak Easier Cocktails. And I've modified this recipe to suit my own taste, and I think you'll like it as well. But I will put a link to the original article down in the description down below. So the first thing, of course, I need is my mixing glass. And the next thing I need are four or five chunks of nice thinly sliced apple. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a quarter of an ounce or about seven milliliters of vanilla Galliano. And this will give us a little bit of sweetness and a hint of vanilla because vanilla and apples go well together. Almost like apple pie. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to muddle these right now, and this will allow the Gallianos to come directly into the apple, right? And it'll do some really, really nice things. Now, this will get pulverized even more once I actually shake these, okay? So, the next thing we need, of course, is a little bit of an apple syrup. This is a one-to-one -one apple syrup, and this is one part sugar, one part water, one part apple with a half an ounce of Galliano. And what I'll do is I'll put the, it in the uh, description down below just for you. And we need three quarters of an ounce. Three quarters of an ounce, of course, is 22 and a half milliliters. The next thing, of course, we need is two ounces of Irish whiskey. Now this is Rowan Co. This is a 45% alcohol by volume. So, and it's got a, great smell, a great bouquet, and it's a little bit sweeter than some. Their original recipe called for Jameson. I actually prefer this, it's a little bit stronger, and I prefer the flavors that I get out of this better. Now two ounces, of course, works out to 60 milliliters. Da, da, da. And the next thing, of course, I need is a lemon juice. And I need fresh lemon. And what I need here is one ounce of lemon juice. And you can see how this is already starting to come together really, really nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this first with ice and that'll pulverize the apple down really, really nicely. And this was a hand cut ice at one time. It's not anymore, but it's kind of nice and funky and perfect for a thing. But you know what's even worse? I forgot something really, really important. Can you tell what it is? The egg white. And you need one full egg white for this cocktail. Let's try this again, shall we? And we'll shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Hard. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to strain the ice out. And, and this will strain out a lot of the apple chunks as well. And now we're going to reshake this for another 10 seconds or so, really hard. Looks good, it smells good. It's gonna look even better in a glass. And what I've got here is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of ice. But you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to trim this down slightly. It's just a hair too big.
Now we're gonna put it in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine strain this. Great, gorgeous consistency, wow. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a very thin slice of apple in here. Well, not quite that thin. That didn't work. All right, so I got a nice piece here. Let's try this again, the apple doesn't seem to like me the way it should. That part looks really good. Now what I'm going to add here is one maraschino cherry, and this will give us a bit of a different flavor, and it's going to give me a bit of color. Look at that. Nice, it's artistic. You get a beautiful contrast in color, and my apple is falling over, no surprise there. Okay, well, you know what? Now it looks even better. I'm good with this. And it's you've got a beautiful separ separation beginning to happen here. It's gorgeous. Oh. This is one of the better cocktails I've tried. And I'm not saying that because I've played with the original recipe. The Irish whiskey, the apple go together beautifully with the lemon. It's nicely balanced. The Galliano, the vanilla Galliano anyways, holds just that hint of vanilla, which just kind of ties everything together really, really nicely. So what I'll do is I will put the ingredients and the method down in the description down below. If this is your first time to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure that you hit that bell notification. That way, Every time we post a video, you'll be notified. But you know what? If you don't like good whiskey or apples, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. Now, I got this in this. <laughs> I got this recipe I need is some lemon juice. So the next thing I need is some lemon juice. And of course, the next thing that I need is a little. Okay, so the next thing that I need is. 